John Young with The Weekend Handyman. We are in Las Vegas at the National Hardware Show looking at cool stuff. And that brings me over to Dan over here. He is in the Frog Tape booth. Dan, I, I, I've seen things here that I haven't seen before and using them in ways I wouldn't imagine. Show me some of these things now because, you know, we've seen this before. Yep, the traditional Frog Tape, uh, the multi-surface. That nice. was uh, the first. Yep, the green and stuff. we came out with the delicate surface Frog Tape. Uh, it's been out for a couple years. This allows you to paint on a Monday, let it set up for 24 hours, come back right in that Tuesday morning, and you can tape the wall, and the delicate surface isn't gonna pull the paint off the wall. So, freshly painted surfaces, this works great. Over if you have to uh, tape off a wallpaper border, and you're paint below the wallpaper border, you don't wanna pull the wallpaper, delicate surface works great on that as well. Nice. No, I, I'm actually a painting contractor from Northern Michigan, and a big problem we have is when we have to mask off a textured surface, especially uh, on the West Coast. Uh, southern states have a lot of knockdown textures, yeah. like exactly. this right here. So uh, the latest and greatest uh, is frog tape textured surface. And what it does is it allows you to tape on a textured surface and still get that same razor sharp line you're used to with yeah. the regular frog tape. You can see, I mean, this is a really textured surface and it gives you that straight razor sharp line even on a textured surface. Yeah, it looks great. So I can show you how we actually achieve that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, let's, let's and we can move forward to that board. I think that's where you're doing that. Yeah. Now, I'm looking over here. Let's talk about that and then we'll go around and actually show it. I'll hold this and you can perfect. talk about that. Another new tape from Frog Tape is Shape Tape and they've come out with three designs. This is the Wave. We have the all popular Chevron. And then there's one more. Is it? I think it's right down there. We'll grab it and we'll pick the we'll pick the video. Don't, don't stop the video, we'll just keep rolling. Then we're gonna get back there and then oh yeah, right there it is. Okay, so now we're going to pick it up. And we'll pick it up, uh, start from the one more. Okay. And the third shape we have is the scallops. So, chevron, wave, and scallops. And this gives you design creativity like you would put in the lake. So, you can see depending on how, this was done with the scallops, depending on how you space them and which side you use, you can come up with some really creative designs. It almost looks like wallpaper, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It's beautiful. And I've got some cool designs we've done on this board, too, that I can share with you. Yeah, let's, let's move around this way. Let's take a look at that. This is the case the tech. Yeah, I want to see. I'm going to start. We probably have to do two cuts here. Yeah, well, we'll just start. Okay, go ahead. And this is the case that uh, the package that frog tape texture comes in. You get that tape itself, and then the paint black liquid applicator right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how we use it. Yeah, great. Pop this one. <laughs> and I walked away on you. So this is the liquid paint black here. All you do, I like to kind of prime the brush. It comes out, it looks like actually Elmer's glue. All you do is you go ahead and put your regular uh, frog tape on there, the texture tape like you would your normal frog tape. Uh -huh. Just burnish the edges. It actually has the regular paint, paint black on there, so that's one line of defense. But then again, the paint black liquid. All you do is put it on there, it comes out. Kind of a milky. Takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dry. Once it dries, it dries clear so you know it's dry. Sure. Then you go ahead and you paint over it, put two coats of paint over it. 
I like to pull it right after I put that second coat on while the paint's still wet. Sure. Or I let it dry for 24 hours. Again, you get a nice razor sharp line on a textured surface. Nice, nice. Wow. Yeah, very cool. Our old technique as a painter, what we would have to do when we ran into textured surface, we'd tape it, take a caulk gun, put caulk on the edge of the tape, and then smear the caulk in there to fill all those little nooks and crannies. But by the time you're done with the room, you have the caulk all over your hands. It takes a guy that knows how to run a caulk gun. Really with this, uh, do-it-yourselfer can do it, an apprentice painter can use it, so it's a really easy solution for uh, painting over textured surfaces. Yeah, it's a nice, clean line. Should we move over to the shape tape? Yep, let's go look at that. So, talked about the waves. This first one, or the second one here, I created using two waves, and all I did is I put them close together, painted in between them. You can see when you pull the tape, it gives you that unique, one of a kind. And that looks nice on the accent wall in a powder room. Oh yeah. So that's uh, done using the waves. Uh, this here is, uh, you make two different designs if you butt them close together with the scallops. Make these cool little stars. And then, my favorite, the chevron. I love making these diamonds. And it's just the clean edges, that's the part that's that just awesome. so neat. Yeah. yeah. So the, the shape tape has the same paint block on the edges, edges of the tape as our regular frog tape. So you get that, those nice crisp lines you're used to with frog tape. Yeah. And then if you put the scallops together the other way, you create this fun little design. Yeah. If you space these out further, it makes a nice chevron that people are used to. Yeah. So this, uh, this big wall over here I have to show you. Okay, we'll, we'll pause it right there. Or that'll be that'll be where we pick. You know, turn around and we'll pick it up. Pick it up right here. Okay, so again, this is the scallops. Yep. What we did is put those on the wall. We cut them. These little sections. Put them on the wall. We made this cool. Talk about looking like wallpaper. Right? Oh, for sure. And you paint over it. Pull this off, and you have a cool wall that that looks like wallpaper. Nice thing is, in a couple years, you're done with it. It's not the pain in the butt having to pull that wallpaper off. You can put light sand, and you can paint right over it. Put your uh, diamonds up there, or any of those designs I just showed you. Sure. Over there on this wall. I'm gonna pan down. This is uh, another thing we did with the, the scallops in the front of the drawers. Easy little weekend project right there, though. I mean, that's that's good nice. stuff. That's doable. Another uh, do it. Uh, this is done with the waterborne stain. Yeah, it just gives it neat. And that was done using the chevron. Mm -hmm. Done using the waves. Back to the chevron. Fun design using the scallops. We even look down right on the carpet. We put the chevron on the carpet and waste paper basket. Great DIY project. Yeah, exactly. Right Just so many, so many options that a person can do. Picture frames. Just a, a lot of different, a lot of different ideas. Ever think about painting a cushion? Yeah, it's really, the only limits are your imagination with the shape tape. Really. Yeah, for sure, for sure. If people want to get more information about frog tape, where can they go? Frogtape.com. Check yeah. out all the information's out there. We just came out with a new app um, that you can design your own room. It's available on the iPad. Um, go to frog, uh, iTunes has it. Yeah, get exactly. up on iTunes and search. download it to your uh, iPad. Have some fun so, with it. Thanks for spending some time hey, with us. Hey, thanks, Dan. We appreciate Thank you very it. much. This is John Young coming to you from the Frog Tape booth here for the Weekend Handyman. Thank you.